I definitely think it's all on a bed of uh, respect. It's a love letter to a culture. And, uh, but yeah, no, we very much see ourselves as stewards of this kind of culture and, and of this of this type of uh, sport and, and of this type of martial art, you know? Um, because like, uh, when you watch Asian cinema, you know, the, each sort of country culture over there has martial arts that are native to them and mean a great deal to them and their cinema reflects that. And, you know, and this is probably going, this is going to sound insane, but like, I like to see Goon and Goon 2 as like great ambassadors of a very specific martial art <laughs> that doesn't exist in many countries, pretty much just Canada and the States. And let me tell you, that's, it's no small feat to stand on skates and bare knuckle prize fight. <laughs> like that's, it's a real, it's its, its own thing. Well, barely in the States too. I mean, hockey in Canada is like completely different than it is in it the is. States. Yeah, it yeah. is. It's, it's, it's our religion. It's literally like if you watch Sports Center in Canada, it is like 85, 90% just hockey and hockey highlights. Um, and, uh, and that's why back home, the movies are kind of just hits. Uh, down here, uh, they're kind of called hits, like Boondock Saints or Donnie Darko or something. And that speaks to hockey being the number four or five sport down here. And so hockey fans are already accustomed to feeling like uh, black sheep in, in the States. And so when a clumsy, crass, blue-collar, handmade movie comes from north of the border, just about their favorite thing, they take ownership of it and, it, and, it, and they feel like it was made for them. And it's like, that's a, it's a beautiful thing. 